Ian, um, frustrating afternoon to say the very least, I guess. What did you make of it? Yeah, exactly that. Um, I thought the first half, it, it, again, I feel like we should put the game to bed or at least get the, the opening goal. We have some really big chances. Keeper makes a couple of great saves. Ruben had a huge chance, um, but it felt like we are in quite good control. It's disappointing to come out. We make a mistake for their goal. I think it's really the only opportunity they had um, and, and we gifted it straight to them. Um, and when you do that, then they had a, a period there where they, they got that energy behind them and they, they pushed a little bit and took us a while to recover from that. But listen, we did we, we dug in, we, we didn't give up, we kept going and um, uh, and we managed to salvage a point out of it. But um, yeah, overall, I think disappointed with the, the nature of the first half. I thought we could come out and step up from there. You're absolutely right when you say about those those two chances, one for Eli and then the better one for Ruben. You must be sick of saying, if only we put our chances mm. away. Yeah, it's it's feeling like uh, that I'm on repeat a little bit with that, but I, I keep going back to the fact that we're creating those kind of big moments and big chances, and and that's important. Um, we hope that if we continue to do that game after game, then then some are going to go in. I thought that second half after they scored, we kind of stopped with that. We didn't. The game didn't flow. We had the big kind of melee with the the, the tackle and that kind of added fight and then there was a, f a few stoppages so the game kind of slowed down and got a bit bitty but um, we, we had to just stick in there to, to get something out of it today. You lost your skipper as well Kyle Cameron it looked like a hamstring was it um, and how much do you think that disrupted things? Yeah both him and Jaden, Jaden hamstring as well um, but I don't think his was too bad uh, it just tightened up a little bit we saw it when he was sprinting I think if we'd have left him on it would have been a risk so um, yeah of course, at that moment as well, you know, with Jaden, we're a goal behind and we're taking defenders off, which isn't the ideal scenario. But yeah, it, it affected us a little bit there, but we, we have to be able to deal with one or two players coming out and uh, still pick up the flow. It ended up being a bit of a makeshift defence in the end then. How did you think that they kind of stood up to it all? Because I think Connell hadn't played a league game since November, Dion hadn't played since yeah. November and Alex Lacey hadn't played for a month. I thought that defensively we were okay. We didn't concede too many things, but on the ball it was a bit slow. Um, but that's normal when they've been out for a little while. We didn't the, the ball didn't come out, and we didn't step into the game well enough. Um, and you need to be able to do that. You know, teams are pressing us. We've got to go beyond the press. So, um, but I think it's not easy. You know, Lacey's been out for a little while. Connell's been out. Dion's been out, and they all stepped in. Um, and acquitted themselves well. Does it feel like in the, particularly the final third, some of your key players have just gone off the boil at a pretty key time? I think, you know, we changed from a, a back three to a to a, a back four with a front three. Um, teams were taken by surprise and we got a lot of space. Teams will look at what we're doing and try and stop us. They're going to stop Cal Roberts coming in on his left foot and Eli coming in on his right foot and then we've got to find other solutions and, and uh, we've got to be a little bit more unpredictable. So, you know, we can do that changing the shape or we can do it by changing personnel in and, in and around. We've got uh, a lot of quality up there, but, you know, the better we get, the more teams are going to try and stop us. So then we have to find a new solution. I wonder if today hurts a bit more when you consider the run of fixtures that you're in at the moment. No team rolls over in the National League, obviously, but Yeovil at home looked like a more favourable game when you consider the teams that you are going to play over the next four and five weeks. Yeah, you would say that, but... No game's easy. You have to. We have to perform in every game, and if we perform, then we have a good chance. I thought we performed for the first half, and not for the second half. And um, you know, we go to Soliol and we we play like we did in the first half for 90. Then we have a, a much better opportunity to win. I feel like some of your players were a bit rattled at times in the second half with all of the the fact that you conceded so early, and, and were you disappointed that they weren't able to go back to the game plan? Yeah, I think so. That's what we talked about in there. That we can make a mistake and concede a goal. Like that happens a lot in football. But after that, our response has got to be better, and we can't allow ourselves to be rattled. And Yeovil rightly so stepped up on us and did really well in the second half. But at the same time, we've got to get back to what we do well quicker. Um, and, and you're right, we, we just looked a bit shell-shocked with that goal and, and didn't quite recover from it. What was your advantage of Adam Chickson's challenge? You got a yellow for it. I did wonder whether or not it could be red. No, I, I can't see from where I am. Um, I think the ref did OK there just to give a yellow out. Um, I think there was one on, on uh, Ed in the middle of the park as well. And I think if he gives yellow there, he gives yellow there. Or he could give red. But I'd rather they set the bar at a yellow and 
you know, uh, I, I was talking to their assistant. He said he made a hundred of them every game that he played, <laughs> so he never got a, a straight red. So I'll take that. I think uh, there wasn't a big shout for a red from their their side, from their bench. Um, of course, the players got involved a little bit, but probably a yellow was right. Did it feel like Ruben was walking a little bit of a, a tightrope at the end with his interactions with the ref? No, I don't think so. Um, I, I'll be honest with you. I thought that Ruben dragged us through that game today. Um, at times where things were, were dropping, I thought he got hold of the ball and he got the game by the scruff of the neck and he made things happen a little bit. Um, and we needed that. We needed someone to do that. We maybe need one or two more to do that as well. Um, but no, I don't think he was running a tight rope. How do you get your top scorer, Kyle Wooten, back into these games? Because it feels like he's been really quite well marshaled out of them at the moment. Yeah, I think, you know, you know, I was talking with Woods yesterday about it and, and he does a lot of unselfish work. We've always said that. He brings the ball in, he sets it off well. Um, as a first defender, he's great, but he has to be a bit more selfish. He has to run in behind a little bit more. He has to stretch the line a little bit more um, and not always do the selfless bit. So um, I think if he can be in the box more and, and make some of those movements for himself rather than everybody else I think that'll help him. The heavens are starting to open up again on us so I'll make this quick. Uh, how long do you think uh, Richardson and, and Cameron could be out for? Jaden was just tightness um, and it was precaution he was a little bit tight before the game and we knew around 60 he might start to feel it and he did. We'll have to check him for, for Tuesday night but it's not there's no uh, pull or anything there it was just tightness. Um, Kyle Cameron we have to check I had no idea uh, it's a different injury to the the last time he had it, so um, hopefully short term. With, with points dropped today, how big does um, Tuesday at Solihull become against a, another playoff rival? Yeah, they're all going to be big this month. You know, we'll, we'll play that game, and then the next one against Stockport in the in the league will be a, a big one as well. And we'll say the same thing a lot, I think. But um, yeah, of course. But I, I, I think we're a little bit fortunate that teams around us also stuttered a little bit today, so we didn't lose any ground on the, on many of the teams around there. So we can count, count ourselves fortunate for that. And of course, yeah, big game on Tuesday.